Shady Bear, Grandma wants you to take a good nap now, you hear? You ought to be good and full from all them chicken nuggets you just ate. Drink one more swallow of water and go lay down because your mama gonna be here in a few minutes to pick you up. Yes, ma'am. Shetty drank their water as slowly as he could before finally getting into bed. For some reason, it was very hard for Shetty to fall asleep. He had a lot of questions floating around in his mind. They had come to him all of a sudden. They were the kind of questions that, until he got them answered, falling asleep would be impossible. Lying in bed for five minutes, which felt more like five hours, Shetty decided to ask Grandma one of the questions, but Grandma was in the next room watching TV. So, if he was going to ask it, he would have to shout it out so she would be able to hear him. Grandma! What is it, Shetty Bear? Are you all right in there? But Shetty didn't waste time answering Grandma's question. He yelled out his question as quickly as he could. Where did you come from, Grandma? Were you always old? (sighs) No, Shetty. I ain't always been old. I used to be little just like you. Now go on to sleep now, you hear? You need to get some rest before your mama get here. But Shetty had one more question to ask first. Grandma, did you have a mama? Yeah, I have a mama and I have a papa. They gonna be with the good Lord now. Yeah, papa worked in the field. Mama made a living being a seamstress. At this point, Grandma was enjoying those old memories. She seemed to forget all about Shetty's nap. Shetty, you know what a seamstress is? Shetty slowly got out of the bed, put his favorite shirt back on, and crept back into the TV room where Grandma was. What is a seamstress, Grandma? Grandma chuckled while correcting Shetty. (laughs) No, boy. A seamstress. After Grandma explained that a seamstress was a person who makes clothes, Shetty rattled off another question. Grandma, did your mama have a mama? Yeah, my mama had a mama. We used to call her Big Mama. She was my grandma. That answer left Shetty in complete shock. Grandma, you have a grandma? Grandma began to laugh out loud because Shetty couldn't believe that even she had a grandma. Through her laughter, she managed to respond to Shetty. (laughs) Yeah, Shetty Bear, even I have a grandma. Shetty had held it together as long as he could, and then he finally erupted in laughter. (laughs) I can't believe it, Grandma! I can't believe old people have grandmas, too. Long time ago. When was I a long time ago, Grandma? You weren't even thought of that. The Lord knew you would make your way here soon enough. That brought another question to Shetty's mind. What about God? What about God? Grandma replied in haste. Shetty proceeded with caution. You know, did he? Shetty had to be extra careful with questions about God because anything that sounded disrespectful was met with serious consequences at Grandma's house. 
Looking sternly through her glasses, Grandma asked Jenny, Did he what? At this point, Grandma was having just as much fun as Shetty was. Shetty took a deep breath and went on with his question. Does God have a grandma? No, baby. God don't have no grandma. Shetty was once again left totally stunned by her answer. He paused for a few moments and, feeling a little sorry for God, he asked, Then who did God stay with when his mama went to work? And who did he get to blow on his hot soup during lunchtime? Shetty also wanted to know if God had to take naps, but he decided not to ask that question because he didn't want Grandma to remember that he was supposed to be taking one right now. Instead, he asked, Whose house do him and his cousins play at if he don't have a grandma? And who gonna help him wash his back in the bathtub? Grandma stared into space, looking for an answer that Shetty could understand. Shetty also stared into space, looking for another question to ask. So if Grandma was going to respond, she had better hurry. Too late, Shetty had found another question. Well, where did he come from? And how did he get here? Shetty asked. Grandma, were you here when God got here? That made Grandma laugh out loud again. <laughs> Boy, you think I'm as old as God? No, I wasn't here, but your grandpa was here. Well, he was. Shetty's eyes lit up as he had visions of asking Grandpa a few questions next. Oh, I'm just fooling you. Grandpa wasn't here either. Grandma continued to talk while she had a chance. The good Lord was the first one here. He was always here. But if we could fully understand somebody bigger than us, that would make us even bigger than him. Ain't that a foolish thought? Well, that's what God is. God is that which nothing bigger can be thought. But where did he come from? Shetty persisted. <sighs> Shetty bear. Everybody come from somebody. And everything come from something. Nobody can exist didn't come from somebody else. But Shetty, somebody had to be first. God is the first and nothing or nobody can be more first than God. Lord don't have no mama, no daddy, and the good Lord don't have no grandma. Shetty, listen here. Grandma continued. I know this may be hard to understand right now. Some of this you won't understand till you get a little older. I can remember looking up in the sky when I was little. I had a lot of questions too. Some of them I got answers for. Some things about the good Lord that Grandma still don't understand. It's because God is a mystery. So, Grandma, let me get this right. Shetty interrupted. So you're saying God don't have a Grandma? Grandma laughed but somehow managed to reply. <laughs> That's right, baby. God don't have no grandma. And you're getting sleepy. Now come on and get in this bed. I know you thought I forgot about your nap, but I ain't. Your mama gonna be here in 30 minutes. Okay, grandma. <sighs> Shetty conceded. On their way back to the bedroom, Shetty notices a toy giraffe on the bedroom floor. Grandma, why did God make giraffes? In a slightly frustrated tone, Grandma replied, Go to sleep, boy. Hmm. This time, Shetty managed to fall asleep right away. I guess getting some of his questions answered really did help. During his nap, Shetty had a dream. 
He dreamed that his cousins were at Grandma's house and that they were all singing a song with Grandma about where God came from. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. First one here and the last to go. Just in case you didn't know, God don't have no grandma. All my grandbabies come gather around. Listen, let me tell you how it all went down. Like the chicken and the egg, one of them came first. And there had to be a first in the universe. They say we come from monkeys, happened after a bang. But I know how it happened, I can tell you his name. Yahweh is the one who created the earth. Yahweh is the real God, the last and the first. Yahweh is the one who made you and me. Yahweh is the one who set us free. He has all the power and authority to show the greatest mystery. Now go to bed. Hey everybody, this is Grandma and Chetty. I just want to know what kind of questions do you have about God? Where do you think God came from? Have you ever heard or felt God? 
God was speaking to you? If yes, go on and explain. If you've never heard or felt God speaking to you, what do you think it would be like when he does?